Okay, so again, welcome. So we will now again try to solve another case from less often that I owe. So here we will try to solve this SOC 165. Uh, okay, take ownership, like in the real world. Then create a case. Right, and then let's just refresh this monetary page. Okay, here are the details. So notice the requested URL. Okay, familiar with uh, URL encoding and SQL syntax. So this is the triggering URL. Uh, start playbook. And start by the alert was triggered. Uh, again, here are the details. So definitely, uh, this this parameter value has something to do with with the triggering of the alert. Okay, collect data. Okay, host name, station, direction of the traffic, etc. etc. So notice here, uh, this is an inbound traffic. Okay, let's see. Source IP. Okay, source IP is quite malicious. Alright, requested URL. Here's the reason already contains or1 equals to 1, which is a typical SQL syntax. Alright, examination the DP traffic. Okay, we can examine further the other DCT traffic for this web server. Okay, notice here. Okay, no parameters yet, but this time. Okay, it begins here. Okay, notice here, these are the URL encoded. Okay, you could actually try a URL, URL decode for that. See, it's R1. Okay, it's R1, then the other. Okay, that's the, uh, the one we would have. Okay, let's see the alert here. Okay, try to URL decoder. Okay, it results to this uh, string, which is actually an SQL syntax. And particularly an SQLI, SQL injection payload. Okay, so, and just to be, you have to be keen on the details. There's a response size, and it, it returned a 500, HTTP response 500, which, which is a server side error, right? Okay, so let's proceed. Yes, it's malicious as we have seen. And as mentioned, this is an SQLI payload. Okay, we can check if it's plan test. Uh, searching for related uh, communications. Let's see. And there's nothing at all. There's no related communication at all, so this is not planned. Okay, click not planned. And then direction of the traffic. Uh, inbound internet company check whether the attack was successful so you can see here it, it doesn't return any any result to the attacker but instead it returned it doesn't return any data i mean but it returned an error which is a server internal error so we can say that the attack was not successful right then we can add the artifacts uh, let's go back. Okay, this is definitely the IP. Okay, since it's the, the attack does not succeed, so no need to escalate. So, attacker attempting SQL. Okay, but not successful. But not successful. Successful. Web server return. Okay, that's how we interpret this in a nutshell. 
sorry for the typo next you can now close the alert and give this position okay we can now close the alert definitely a true positive but not successful so we can definitely close the alert and let's see if we got the answers correctly we did right uh, we didn't answer everything correctly okay so rats